Okay. Um, as we've been sitting here and you've been circling us back to faith and those verses about faith and hope and and the substance of the unseen being real in the realm of God's kingdom and how we have access to that. And I was sitting here going, Lord, what, what direction are you taking us for this last little bit of our community tonight? And the Lord said, a class action suit is forming for the return of your identity and the return of stolen faith. I believe from that thought that the uh, um, God's heirs, you the saints, being part and parcel of the bride of Christ, Satan is terrified of your faith. So what does he do? He steals it. If he can't steal your faith in its entirety, he steals the seeds of faith that you're trying to sow into various places. And when Terry was talking about receiving back sevenfold, a hundredfold to the substance of his house that that verse ends with, that's that 700 fold, 700, seven being the completeness, a hundred being the overwhelming sense of that completeness. Uh, let's just, step in and ask the court if they would hear our case for a class action suit about stolen faith. Amen. Do you want me to do that? <laughs> yes, it's, it's your idea. Anybody yeah. else? Yeah. Wait, raise your hand. Is this jiving? I don't want to be the only one here. I need, am I, I'm, I'm garnering your faith as well. <laughs> yeah. yeah? yeah. Okay. Well, I'll jump in there too. So, yeah. All right. Yeah. Well, Father, we we just uh, we praise your name for the absolute amazing ability through Jesus that we have to step into the courts of heaven. We thank you that we come in under the name, in the name, through the name, and by the name of Yeshua, our Messiah and Redeemer. Jesus, we glorify you. We glorify your name. We thank you that you are the way and the truth and the light. We enter into this courtroom under your banner, under your name, and desire your presence and Holy Spirit's presence with us in this court of law. We ask for all of heaven who have pertinent information to those people that are listening to this court case and are going to, in days ahead, become part of this class action suit, that their angels in heaven, all people in heaven that are um, aware of the situation where faith has been stolen by our enemy from us, Father, we are asking that you would hear a court case as a class action suit that we press against our enemy, Satan, for the return up to 700 fold of stolen faith both in seed, both in the final harvest of faith, anywhere the faith has been filtered with doubt, layered with deception that we call doubt, that we did not, uh, that did not come from us or our, the iniquity in our blood, but came from Satan's deception and his terror that we are the children of God. And we know who we are. Father, I approach your bench and also ask you for the restoration 700 fold of the pieces and parts of our identity, each of us that are listening to my voice, that we would receive back the faith that's attached to ourselves being known in heaven as sons of God, because we are under the blood and in covenant relationship through Jesus Christ with you. And God, we just we just praise you and thank you for this avenue. We stand before your court to repent of every iniquity and every sin that we ourselves, by our own doubt, have brought to the table when it comes to faith. Where we ourselves have negated our own faith, 
by intellectualism and humanism, we confess that as a sin before a holy God. When we also, Father, sin before you because we are not operating out of our identity, having received the fruit of doubt, and instead of acting from an identity connected to faith, we are acting from our soul or from our intellect. Father, hear us when we say we repent for this in every area of life that that's touched our lives. We repent and ask that the blood of Jesus would cover us, that we would be forgiven, and that these deeds would be removed from us as far as the east is to the west. And that you would do this not only for us, Father, but for our family, our extended family, our generations, and our ancestors. Going as far into the future as needs and as far back into the past as needs. Your Honor, we thank you for your grace. So we are also asking for the grace of your anointing to fall on us, that we would receive at the hands of your angelic hosts, even the armies of Lord Sabaoth, as they return these stolen pieces of faith back to our identity, as they mend and, and return to us the, the identity of one who is having faith, stands in faith, believes in faith, knows the power of faith, understands the principle of your of your unseen realm by which we achieve through faith father we present ourselves to receive the work of your angels yes lord father we stand in the courts as as a gathering of, of witnesses declaring and decreeing your word about who we are as you are so are we in this world mm -hmm. father we thank you that we are governing legislative and judicial sons father we repent for false perceptions of who we really are and we step into that reality the truth we step into a greater and true personal relationship and knowledge of uh, your will and your ways and your desires and your heart. You. Father, we thank you for the courts of heaven. We thank you for, for as you're raising us up as, as governmental, legislative, and judicial sons, the law will come out of Mount Zion. And Father, we repent from the times we have tried to co-create out of our self agenda our self will our selfish desires and motives and and the things we desire in our heart that's not aligned with with your your perfect will father we come in and stand as a perfect man father transfigured in your glory father moving in you where we live and move and have our being Father, we repent of, of, of uh, uh, walking away from our divinity. Mm -hmm. And we step into that more, more fully. We step into believing your word above everything we're experiencing in our life, everything, rather than what we see in this, this realm. Father, and just as the dream, I present the dream that you showed me about thousands and thousands of people staring at computers, and, and I placed my hand through a green living wall that was substance, it was moving, and I stuck my hand into the truth, and you said, Terry, there is no veil. The only veil that exists is your false perceptions. So, Father, we repent for our false perceptions whatever they may be, Father, show us, Father. I pray the prayer, of one, Psalm 139, 23 and 24, search me, O God. Know my heart. Try me. Put me on trial. Know my anxieties. See if there's any wicked way in me and lead me in the way everlasting. 
Father, everything we do is in eternity right now. Father, I thank you for the truth is being revealed of not only who we are, but what is available to us and what we are responsible for as a steward. We're not an owner. Father, we thank you. It's not my kingdom, it's your kingdom. Father, I bless you and honor you. And we stand in faith. Let it be declared over each one of us. We are men and women, governmental, legislative, and judicial sons of great faith. Father, let it be proved in our evidence as evidence in the courts of heaven that you'll use as a precedent for court cases to come. The faith we walk in today will be used as a precedent of court cases to come. <laughs> Every attorney is looking for a precedent. Let it be us, Father. Let it be us. Mm -hmm. And I thank you, Father, for the restoration of all things. Everything pertaining to life and godliness has already been given. Everything, Father, that had been stolen from us personally and through our generational bloodlines all the way back to the Adam, Adam and Eve, the booty and the plunder of spoils of war. Father, from our entire generations is being restored to us more than we can ask or think or imagine. Father, we receive it by faith because it's in the unseen realm, whether it's in stashed in some storehouse or whether it's stashed in a cave or stashed in another planet or galaxy, <laughs> we call it forth. We step into it. And Father, we're in agreement with that in Jesus' name. Father, we thank you that we'll be, uh, uh, we'll be faithful stewards of what you're releasing. Father, we declare it's shifting right now we govern the shift. We govern the transition. We govern the, the restoration of all things. We stand and say, yes, amen. Let there be the light. Let there be the restoration of all things, Father, pertaining to life and godliness, both in this realm and in the spiritual realm. In Yeshua's name. Oh, wow. I, I just got to tell you this, this revelation just dropped in my heart. The Lord says, well done, faithful servants. This is done on the first night of, of Hanukkah that oh. we prayed this prayer and asked for the return of our faith that Satan has stolen in a class action suit. And he linked it to miracles. And he said, can you have what he stole, what Satan stole was the, um, the ability to have faith for miracles because mm. there's you know, in the, in this human psyche, we think that, well, miracles happen then and miracles happened occasionally. And, but, but I don't put myself in line for that, you know, but tonight put your, put your robe of I'm a miracle worker on and let the anointing hit you that you too, because you have a good father who adjudicates through the blood of the lamb and he's going to return these miracle working <laughs> happenings to each and every one of us because we showed up in and asked for our faith back yeah woo! i can have that much faith because it doesn't come from me it came from him it's coming right out of heaven angels are going and they're doing warfare business to get all of our faith back that was stolen. And so the Lord's going to, it'll feel like something, ladies and gentlemen, when you get it back, you'll know it. It yeah. will feel like an oil anointing. It's e with an ease to believe for, for a miracle. And I'm not talking about miracles that we've had historically. I'm talking about the miracles we haven't even dreamed of yet. That's right. That's right. It's those miracles that, that the current generation is going to walk through. And I believe it's such a shift in time in the time realm now that we're right. So the Holy Spirit, thank you so much for rightly timing us. Yeah. <laughs> <laughs> yeah, I was just thinking too, like we were we were um lied to at such a young age. And all of us have uh, consistently move towards the Lord 
and stayed with the Lord. Even though we had those seeds of doubt, we never gave up. And when he gets ready to pour out this glory and we're going to see these miracles, we're going to be we're going to be walking by people and they're just going to be falling out in the spirit, getting healed. We don't even have to touch them. We don't have to do anything. Our countenance is going to be so powerful um, because we have steadfastly stayed with him, even though some of us not knowing if it would ever happen because the enemy and everything has bombarded our and had mind control over us and enslaved us for so long. I just I almost cry thinking about my my friends, my family who's passed and gone and never got to ever experience this, you know, because this is what we're supposed to be living in all the time. And I was also thinking you, that dream had about Black Rock. What, what was the thing about oh Black Rock? Oh my gosh, Trudy, I thought the same thing. Yeah. Black oh, Rock and Vanguard my... has had total control over everything. Food, over media, over companies, what we bought, what they sold, everything for so long. And I remember praying that God would reveal you know, where all this money was uh, coming from and that controlled everything, especially the pedophilia and things like that. Um, and he's like revealed and revealed and revealed like stuff that I was, it, it boggles your mind, but he is tearing down these, these Satanist structures and we are going to be rising up. And I really believe that these dreams that you had where there's going to be such a, an abundance, we are to rebuild humanity. We are the ones to build the kingdom back here with the help of the Lord. And that's why he's given us all of these directions and, and moving us in these different places. And, you know, all these tools of the kingdom, we, we have many tool belts, you know, with all these tools to the kingdom that's going to get us to be um, the, I guess, the partners with God that he wants us to be. Amen. Oh, yeah. Amen. That? Amen. I had a vision when you were when you were doing our court case, Don, and it kept it kept growing while you were talking. That really that was powerful. By the way, I'm like I was powerful. But the vision that I had, we you know, when you leave the court, sometimes you go down to the clerk of the court, right? And we all came down, and there there was a lot of clerks. There there was like <laughs> rows of clerks. There's not rows of clerks in the I saw right lots the court, of people in the courtroom. There were rows of clerks, right? And we were each going up to the clerk and they were just stuffing these bags with stuff and writing, writing out. I'm not sure what they were writing out, but it seemed to me like it was like an IOU, like there was more there that had to come. And we were all walking away with these bags and with these notes. Um, afterwards yeah 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 now That's the important okay. part is what we do from here uh, as a co-creator we know it exists in the unseen realm so every word we speak every heart attitude every motive i like the be attitudes in <laughs> in the sermon on the mount we can use those look that up in the amplified bible I started to pull that up a while ago, but I posted it not long ago. Uh, those are the attitudes we need to be in to receive uh, more fully from the Lord. So out of the unseen realm, we speak to those things that are not as though they were. And so they already exist. And so in essence, we're really not waiting for them. What we're doing is we're governing the manifestation in the seen realm. <laughs> Ooh, let's talk about that <laughs> okay. that's a whole different approach because we've been taught to wait contend tarry and press in i mean obviously there's there's 
there's an element of that, but now as the ecclesia, there's this there's this governing legislative and judicial sonship that we always talk about that is a co-creator with Yahweh. What we're doing is we're co-creating with Yahweh. So we're not doing it by ourselves, not what we want. We think what how it should look like and what we want, but it's what he wants. We're governing uh, by speaking to those things that are not as though they were because they already are. We're speaking Hebrews 11, 3. Uh, uh, let me go back there a minute. Let's look at that one more time because that's a key element in what we're doing. It says, by faith, we understand that our worlds were created or framed by the word of God so that what is seen was not made out of things that are visible. So in God's realm, we have two realms, seen and un unseen, visible and invisible. He never said they did not exist. He said they're just unseen and invisible. Everything pertaining to life and godliness, everything we're talking about has already been given. So now, as a governor, we govern over, we legislate, we, we speak to those things that are not as though they were as a co-creator, and it accelerates the manifestation of those things in the seen realm begin to make a shift in how we look at things and how we we did in our our false perceptions how we need to shift our our mindset and the words that come out of our mouth either we're perpetuating darkness in agreement with the accuser of the brethren and it's, it can be really deep or it can be really one small tiny little thought uh like my motive that i had in the dream and my heart was wicked uh that i didn't know was there so we get to shift and become this governor, that's what Ecclesia is all about. We have to shift and become a co-creator with him to bring things out of the unseen realm into the seen realm. Does that make sense? It's a I, lot I, of, oops, sorry. Go ahead, Diane. What I saw one, really quick when we were doing all this is that I saw myself in this really large warehouse and there were all these people who were working really hard, getting all of these things ready to distribute. And I was standing next to this man and he had the big clipboard. It was bills of lading. And I, and I was saying, this goes here, this goes there. And I was just releasing all of these things from this huge warehouse. I'm so happy to have that image. So what you're saying, I've got that image that's just going to build and build and build. And I can just hold on to that. And it was, it was really awesome to, to be able to do that. Yeah, wow, that's good. Wow. Yeah. Well, while Terry's been talking, I've been just a flabbergasted because um, the Holy Spirit's like speaking to me saying, return back to what you just said. You told them to expect the manifestation of the returned faith. And as soon as I'm like, okay, Lord, what am I, how do I do that? I saw keys begin to drop out of heaven in all of our atmosphere and so i just want to as a prophetic act if you're if you're in faith and belief with hope just thank that angel that brought those keys and just take them and put them in your heart put them in your being lord we thank you for the keys i don't know what they're for exactly but i saw three in my atmosphere you, you may have a knowledge of what your key is for, but it's to unlock a thing. A key unlocks something. It unlocks a door. It unlocks a treasure. It unlocks a heart. It unlocks something. Yes, so, it does. It does. wow, Lord, we just thank you for this incredible yeah. evening where you're opening up something to us. I also feel like this. Terry, you just stop me if I'm talking too much. No, go ahead. <laughs> I just feel like we're rightly timed in the in this moment because we're at the end of the uh the civil calendar the gregorian calendar that we use and a lot of us are are beginning to think into 2023 and we if you're like me and i'm just human so you are too you've got things in 2023 that you're wanting and now that you got some of your faith back it also came with identity and keys 
I just bless you tonight to dream <laughs> with God and receive the dreams of your identity, the dreams yeah. of what's written in your scrolls, the dreams of what these keys unlock so that you can put faith and hope with it in 2023. Yeah. Amen. You just reminded me of something that I've, I've, I haven't mentioned in a long time. I always mention Isaiah nine, six, and seven, right? As the governmental flow chart from heaven. Go back and look at that. We talk about it all the time. I'm not going to mention it there, but then go up to Isaiah nine, one through five, and look at all the benefits that happen as you govern as you govern in proper divine order. <laughs> then you mentioned keys. Here's the part I haven't remembered for a long time. Isaiah twenty two twenty two. Mm -hmm. <laughs> absolutely Praise and the i will place on his shoulder it's talking about where the shoulder the government shall rest upon his shoulder i will place on his shoulder my shoulder since i am a governing legislative and judicial son the body of christ the key of the house of david that's the same thing it talks about in isaiah 9 6 and 7 he shall open and none shall shut and he will shut and none shall open that's our responsibility to shut and open doors you know, <laughs> when, when you're just talking about that isaiah 22 22 i suddenly saw um a military uniform you know a military uniform you wear your rank on your shoulder that's where you wear your rank mm, yeah and so our rank is Jesus. He's in us. We're in him. We are one in the spirit. He dwells in me. And therefore in him, I have the rank of everything in his kingdom that he is releasing according to the will of the father. And we just, Lord, we just thank you for making us captains in your army or whatever rank that is. You know, I think sons is the highest rank you sons, can be, yes, <laughs> but I just thank you, Lord, for that. And we receive those keys. And and I just feel like saying this. So um, we receive the angels that are assigned with the keys to be the adjuncts. An adjunct in a military sense is the personnel that you get to carry out a specific assignment. Mm. And an adjunct often is assigned to a person of rank, but they're they have they do a specific thing for that person of rank. So thank you, Father, for adjunct angels, and we receive them into our realm. We bless you, Father. We bless you, Jesus, and your kingdom. We bless the kingdom of God and the power of Holy Spirit's voice that will speak to us in days to come so that we know how to help these angels co-labor with us for the opening of, these, of what these keys open. Yeah, wow, so good. I have a Can picture. I have a question? Let's uh, let Jetty go first. She Jetty, okay. Just... Okay, real quick. I have a picture that I drew that ties everything that we've been talking about together that God showed me just this summer and the months following that um, I would love to share with everyone. It's, it's, it's kind of, it ties it all so nicely together, like a picture speaking a thousand words, right? And I think it would be awesome if I could share it with everyone. Is there a way to, yeah, to share yeah. that? uh the digital i can make yeah it's digital i took a i took a picture of it because it's eight by eight, eight by 11 feet so Let me see if, uh, it's rather large can you screen share i just clicked the button you should yeah, screen sure share. uh let me see find it in your computer first yep real quick i'll do that i may have to change another setting advanced sharing options hang on host on all participants know who can start sharing when someone else is share okay you should be able to share okay just a second it's not on this local laptop but i can grab it real quick oh, okay yeah while she's looking i just want to say if uh, some of you feel like maybe uh you don't qualify for this you do yes. you're a son and so don't disqualify yourself because maybe you think you don't know enough. Maybe you think, uh, uh, you know, life has gone too crazy. It'll just keep on going like it is. Well, that's a lie. It's a false perception. Uh, so break all those lies that 
that uh, you are just as qualified as anybody else <laughs> on the planet. And so just step into that reality of who you are, into that true and personal knowledge or relationship with him that that qualifies you to uh, the restoration of all things and to walk in great faith. And notice okay. that it wasn't the elect that he, he said those were walking in, in great faith. So just step into that tonight. In Hebrews 11, 3, it says, by faith, our worlds were framed by the word of God. And back when we started looking at that scripture was 20, 2012. And the Hebraic picture for that year was an open doorway. And so I remember this clear as day. And our church age motto was wait, contend, tarry, and press in. But here in the Hebraic Hebraic pictorial image of the year 2012 was an open door. If you have an open door standing before you, are you going to continue well, to wait, Terry, and press in? No, you're going to just step in. So here we're deep into the kingdom age now. It's just this place where we we step into that reality right now. We step into all things pertaining to life and godliness. We step into the restoration of all things. We step into as he is, so am I in this world. We step into the fullness of the word. And that's that's where faith is coming from. We're stepping into it. We're not waiting for something to manifest where it already has. Oh, there we go. She got it. Go ahead, Jay. I was okay. done. So this is the picture um, where basically I wish I had it so you could actually see all the text that is written to it. But the, the main text here is the Hebrews text by faith. The We believe in the things that are not seen. But when you accept, you know, there's the parable of the sower and the seed. And when you accept Jesus into your heart, where here you see that he is putting his hands on, on the person's shoulders. Mm -hmm. Yeah. And then he unlocks Jesus. The Messiah unlocks the key to your heart, to the realms in your heart. Yeah. That's what I have in the angels. Yeah, that assist you and Holy Spirit that takes you into Jesus where you have in your praise Jesus. and worship. Yeah, the praise and worship, the higher you go in praise and worship, the higher you get into the levels of God and Jesus, which is in Jesus. So you have here, which I thought was so cool, Terry, how you were talking about your um, your, your adventures or encounters. This whole level is is called, the for the name that came to me is called the realms of encounter. Mm. where you have the living letters that you encounter and then the, all the adventures that you can go on with Jesus. And then above that is the courtrooms of heaven. And above that is the throne room of heaven. And the very first level is where you take the living, the living water and, and the bread of life and you deal with your, you get discernment and healing and deliverance and you have the library of wisdom and all of that. So, and then there's a scripture verse here where it's talking about the keys um, and how you take the keys by through the scriptures and claim it and you bring it from the realms of, of um, the unseen into your life through the, what's in your heart. Wow, that's beautiful. Wow. Yeah, yeah. That's, that's what I saw. <laughs> yeah, that's, that's gorgeous. So nice job. I wanted to share that's that. That's really with cool, you. Jetty. Yeah, really. Yeah. 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 Precious drawing. Thank you. Mm -hmm. I just, wow, God is so good. I'm just always amazed at God because he gives you stuff you don't even know that you need. <laughs> you know, and to, to think that we started with a court case to get back our faith, which I feel like that was definitely Holy Spirit opening that door for us and beckoning us to join him. But that we got keys too i just i mean wow it just makes my heart sing well i want to share something uh that is all along this because i have been you know like god like how come we have all these wealthy people but it's not about money it's about also the ability to do things because in this babylon system we need money somehow so, but then I'm like, Lord, we, we, you know, are your hairs, we, that we love you, Lord, we want to do the great things. How come, 
how come how can we unlock that we we want that you know the creativity ideas anything you know we want to position ourselves how, how what is it what is it what is it that other people can get that idea because the Lord always search for someone that wants to receive the great idea to implement it but somehow some of us we miss it or whatever so I'm like how come those that's you know, the other non-Christians, they are like, just get it. But thanks the Lord that, you know, he loved of each of them too, and they bring them to salvation. But that I was like, that was in my heart. I'm like, you know, not, so now the keys, the creativity, the faith to push, yeah. push us forward, drive us, you know, trust us forward to really take our role and implement that. And I love what uh, Diana was saying, we're gonna be that, the co-creating with him and be in a position um, that, you know, other people are, but they are not doing right. But we want to be in that position to do good. So that was has been in my heart since I was little, you know, Lord, I want something, uh, you know, again, it's because the world we're living, we need the money to be a tool, only a tool to do things. I'm like, Lord, I need something, a project that will create money in order, and that project will sustain itself to be created in order to do kingdom business. When I say kingdom business, I don't have anything in mind, but I know that I want to be able to provide or help or guide whatever it is, you know, with 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 a community. So this is something that is very encouraging and, and you know, raise our faith to the next level that we are the co-creator of God. We need to position ourselves and he will provide us the people, the means, um, and Absolutely. as and a structure that is different from the Babylon, a mm -hmm. key structure that we can move currency on this earth yes. uh but that is holy and 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 in a way i'm partnering with someone that we're thinking about some kingdom business but then there is a question about what platform we're going to use about moving money that is not the present platform so thank you lord that you are giving us that um giving us access giving us ideas giving us the key to unlock things your way that will be purely and holy. Thank you, Lord Jesus. Amen. Yeah, yeah, amen. I, I think Trudy had a question. Am I wrong? Oh, Trudy, you're you're muted. Oh. <laughs> <laughs> um one of the things that I did that will speak to Victoria is I had never done this before, but I sat one day and I imagined getting this from the wicked transferred to the righteous. And what would I do with whatever portion was given me to give back? And I started just, I couldn't believe that it opened my mind to just write and how I wanted to structure this help for someone. And I'm gonna cry because I always do when I start thinking about this. But I, I moved on that so much that I went and I had it put into a huge presentation so that when I was given you know, any kind of portion, I was ready to say, this is what I want this to go for. And this is what I, how I want it structured. And I even gave it a name. And, you know, I gave the, uh, like a trust or whatever, a foundation, a name. Um, I haven't put that into any kind of legal form yet because I still got to pay a lawyer to do that. <laughs> But the whole thing was, it opened up more and more creative thinking than I ever had before about, all right, so that's one project. Now I can do another project and I can expand on that. And, and I looked at this and, and when I look around at, at what I need to do and how to help people, uh, because this is, we're in some, you know, serious changes here. 
and people are they're feeling hopeless they're feeling you know defeated and all of those things and um we're the ones to bring that light to the world and so i'm i'm just suggestion to everybody you know this key to the creativity in your mind of what he would want you to do and what did he give you originally in your heart because it's always been there there's always been there's always something that he has deposited in each one of us that he, it's never gone away we just have pressed down you know because we never believed we could we could ever do it and now we can now we're getting ready to be pole vaulted into this world and um and we got all of this stuff inside us so you know we just need to like bring it out so i would really encourage all of you to sit and think about you're going to be depositing a huge bag of wealth and you've still got ious coming to you okay that's a lot what are you going to do with it let's start let's start creating what we can accomplish with god's help and what does he want each one of us to do because we're all individual you know but yet we're a, a, a united group too yeah absolutely yeah greater what uh your eyes seen your mind is what what ears are heard and <laughs> whatever you have imagined it's greater and I like to go back to the process. I, I was reminded of this scripture. I think we talked about it recently, but uh, 1 Corinthians 3 uh, says, but if anyone builds on the foundation with gold, silver, precious stones, wood, hay, or straw, each one's work will be clearly shown. So that's what I was shown that, that uh, some of my foundation was wood, hay, and straw. It was 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 I, a, a wicked mindset that I had about I wanted this money for myself. And so it goes on to say, each one's work will be clearly shown for what it is. So that's, I was shown and I had to deal with my heart for the day of judgment will disclose it. When is the day of judgment? Well, that day was yesterday when he showed me <laughs> I was in the courts because he showed me my wicked heart concerning that matter uh he will disclose it because it is to be revealed with fire and with the fire will test the quality and character and worth of each person's work but if any if any person's work which he has built on this foundation that is any outcome of his effort remains and survives this test he will receive a reward that's the message translation again uh I think that's a good, good, good thing about, I've, I've said many, many times that we're in this process to maturity where we can be entrusted to, to handle what he's releasing. Uh, so I embrace the, 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 the process. It's not fun a lot of times because you deal with stuff like I did last night and, and, uh, uh, but with a grateful heart to know, that that was something that was wicked in me that I had to deal with. I, I believe he's revealing those things to each and every one of us until we come to the full manifestation of what is present reality that as he is, so am I in this world. Amen. So I, I think uh, that I'm happy to embrace the process and I'm still praying that prayer. <laughs> he's still faithful to answer that one. <laughs> And so if we're really, really uh, true to ourselves and true to our relationship with, with the Trinity that, uh, and that all creation is waiting for us to step into that mature man, that perfect man, the one whose, me whose measure is the fullness of Christ, Ephesians 4, 13, who's doing things different, who's thinking differently, who's speaking differently is, who is the ecclesia we're not waiting for a gathering of i mean a, a gathering of of as he is so are we in this world people would be incredibly amazing because we could shift the entire creative realms <laughs> from that position but uh 
it's an amazing concept, amazing reality, amazing truth that we can, uh, we can do much more than, than what we are right now. So enjoy, enjoy the process and embrace it. Everything that you're experiencing right now has eternal value. Even the negative things that, uh, that uh, you're experiencing. I ask God, what is, what can I learn from this experience? Just this eczema thing, you know, he was dealing with me to, with the toxins in the skin, the body of Christ, the skin of the body of Christ, there's toxins, there's false perceptions that we have to deal with. And guess who gets to deal with them first? Me. <laughs> Maybe you're dealing with your own things, but God's given us grace through that. He's awakening us to see uh, in, in our dreams, our encounters and experiences that uh, how this applies as long as you've been uh, uh, welcome with the Lord. We're shifting into some areas where, where he's revealing who we are and our, our uh, co-creative governing authority. So it's, a, it's really, really deep and it's really, really good too. So I just yeah. wanted to share that. Yeah, amen. Who has to leave? Who wrote that? Uh, Trudy wrote that. Pam okay. has a question. Okay. Um, it's not really a question as much as this has been coming to my mind when you were talking about the foundation and then, you know, it had to do with what Donna shared about the foundation of your app. And there's a bank called Glorify that they're not following the the path of some of these other banks and of PayPal, who is coming against conservative people. And when they find out, like PayPal changed their, you probably all know about this, right? That they changed their policies. Okay, there's a bank called Glorify mm -hmm. and they, they profess to be founded on Christian values of the, you know, and they, it might be something you wanna look at where your, where your money, is whatever you do that way and they're it's g-l-o-r-i-f-i -I, the name okay. of the bank if you look them up so it's just on my mind and it, it when it comes strong like that i just want to say it so that's all. okay yeah yeah i'll check it out thank you thank you so much appreciate it anybody else as we're closing final closing going once <laughs> going twice <laughs> Uh, it's been fun. It's been a good one. Uh, I have one more thing to say, because I, I, when you see it, you have to say it. Yeah. That's just a spiritual principle. I have seen a huge basket with a huge loaf of bread in it. And I feel like the Lord has been saying, uh, tonight I came, well, I know he's saying it to my heart. Perhaps he's saying it to your heart, but I came tonight because um, you needed the bread of heaven. The bread of heaven has filled you. It's satiated you. It's it, it's that you know interchange where we meet the Godhead and we are benefited. We're we're made no longer hungry. Yeah. Thank you, Father. Amen. I'll receive that bread. Amen. Yeah. Yeah. So good. Thank you, Donna, for coming on tonight. That was a yeah. great surprise. And everybody else too. Good to see Jetty. Thank you for the picture of that that was beautiful and the, uh, wow all the all the comments were just wonderful and everything was just wonderful good stuff so thank you for joining in tonight i'm going to take a little break for christmas and probably come back on like january 4th i'm going to uh maybe do a little traveling maybe finish up this app that i'm doing and and so have a wonderful christmas time happy hanukkah whatever you do celebrate it and do it well <laughs> right <laughs> you too terry yeah thank you, thank you. Merry, night, christmas. Yeah. Merry, christmas, well, merry christmas everybody merry christmas everybody yeah. merry christmas and happy new thank year you, terry all right you're welcome yeah, thank you terry <laughs> thank <laughs> you good night